Some enzymes consist of two or more subunits. In the past, it was thought that only oligomer enzymes or multiple subunit enzymes could be allosterically regulated. And then we coined the term allosteric enzymes. So when you see the term allosteric enzymes, it is likely that it refers to an enzyme of multiple subunits because people love to stick to old definitions. More recently, however, the idea of allosteric regulation can apply to even single-unit enzymes, which is what we have already previously talked about. I personally prefer to reserve the term allosteric for allosteric sites. So the term allosteric enzyme to me is either an enzyme that is allosteri allosterically regulated, or it doesn't make sense. To make things clearer, I will refer to multiple subunit enzymes as multiple subunit enzymes, and not allosteric enzymes. It is Probably not a proper term, by the way, but it's probably more obvious what I'm talking about, so I should continue with that. Now, in a multiple subunit enzyme, the combination of these subunits create more allosteric sites for activators or, or inhibitors to bind to, which are again termed commonly as allosteric activators or inhibitors. They also tend to have more active sites, because there are now two, two subunits, you know. These enzymes primarily exist in two conformational states the active and the inactive state. Surprise! Binding of the allosteric activators stabilizes the enzyme in its functionally active conformation, while the binding of inhibitors stabilizes the inactive conformation. When the enzyme is active, the graph of the rate of reaction of a multiple subunit enzyme is an S-shaped sigmoidal curve due to the concept of cooperativity. The binding of activators, oh sorry, the binding of substrates, not just inhibitors or activators, changes the conformation of the other subunits such that it becomes easier to accept subsequent substrates. Therefore, the initial gradient is gentle as binding is more difficult at the start. However, as more substrates bind to it, the ease of binding increases and the rate of reaction increases at a faster rate until there's too much crowding near the end, which makes it difficult to bind. And that's a bit like doing homework. It's very hard to start doing it. But once you get started, the momentum carries you forward and you do it fast. And, but once you get to the end, you'll get tired, so you do less work. Sounds good? 